Hey there! January is over, so let's look at 7 of the most interesting web dev updates from the past month. First on the list, Vue 3.4 was released with a handful of internal improvements. The template parser was rewritten and is now two times faster. The reactivity system was refactored to make effect triggering more accurate and efficient, and various other APIs were improved for a better overall dev experience. Quick side note, starting January 1st, 2024, Vue 2 is fully deprecated and it no longer receives new features, updates or bug fixes. Performance on the web is a priority and Vue is constantly working towards improving this aspect. To illustrate one of the biggest updates, consider the following scenario. Prior to this release, the effect was fired every time the count value was changed, even though the computed result remained the same. Thanks to the new reactivity updates, now the callback only fires when the computed result changes. Angular 17.1 was also released with a couple of big, notable updates. You can now leverage the newly added signal support when working with component inputs. You can remove some of the bloat and framework overhead since change detection can now be performed without zone.js and you'll gain access to a friendlier dev experience since the new control flow is slowly gaining traction. Angular went through a major overhaul last year and it is now focused on offering more efficient, simpler solutions for its devs. This brings Angular closer to what other modern frameworks are offering and, thanks to improvements like the standalone module support and the new signal-based input function, creating components is now more straightforward than ever. Next, let's look at a small quality of life improvement proposed by BAN. BAN, of course, is a new player in the JavaScript runtime space which promises a performance-focused engine, powerful APIs and a cohesive developer experience, all aimed to run server-side JavaScript in a seamless, optimized manner. Interacting with the shell is a pretty common task on the backend and BAN offers now an experimental embedded language that allows you to run cross-platform shell scripts in both JavaScript and TypeScript. Since I mentioned JS runtimes, Dino, another Node.js alternative, reached version 1.40 in January. Dino is worth watching not only for its JavaScript runtime capabilities. It is actually an entire platform which comes packed with built-in cloud primitives like the KV storage solution, Qs or Cron. This version introduces the powerful Temporal API for advanced date and time operations and embraces the latest decorator syntax for more expressive code. Alongside these advancements, this release implements a series of deprecations and removals, all in preparation for the much-awaited Dino V2 release. Switching gears to meta frameworks, Astro reached version 4.2 with new experimental features, improvements to accessibility rules, the ability for remark plugins to customize image optimizations in Markdown, and various other updates and bug fixes. Probably the most interesting addition of this release is the option to pre-render pages using the Speculation Rules API. This is a Chromium exclusive for now and allows you to pre-render pages on the client and even run client-side JavaScript on pages that the user is likely to visit next. Of course, this leads to faster browsing and a better user experience. Next.js 14.1 was released with various developer experience improvements. Most notably, Vercel is finally addressing one of the biggest pitfalls in the framework, the self-hosting support. We now have access to detailed documentation on how to self-host Next.js with a Node.js server, Docker container, or static export. Finally, if you have a few minutes to spare, then a Bramos article exploring the work transpilers are doing under the hood to convert code into a universal web standard is an interesting read. Then step-by-step -step explanations are doing wonders in clarifying fairly difficult topics. If you want to find out more about some of the tools discussed here, you should check one of these videos next. Until next time, thank you for watching.